What's good, everybody? It's, it's your boy, DB Kicks, man. We're back with another video in class. It's in session. I'm just playing. <laughs> but, no, nah, man, uh, welcome to the DB Kicks channel, man. So, I did kind of briefly bring up the fact, um, when I did the, my 2002 art video recently, if you guys did see that for the return of subscribers and viewers, um, I kind of brought up, like, uh, fashion tips. So, I figured, um, yeah, I, I brought up fashion tips, and shout out to the... Uh, the person that did comment, I don't remember your name. You did kind of make me want to just go ahead and just make this video. So styling tips, man. This is about five tips. Well, I'd say like five different topics, but I don't know exactly, you know, how many points I'm going to make. But these are all things that I think of like when I'm putting together an actual outfit, like or if I'm going somewhere or if I really want to be fresh. All right. So first things first, this is how I kind of build my outfits. I always, always think like this. I'm like, all right, well, what? sneaker do I want to wear nine times out of ten if it's a weekend and I'm going out with the wife or the homies house or wherever I'm going I'm going to go for a new pair of sneakers or just one shoe that I've been wearing a lot lately most likely I'm gonna try to go for a new pair because I want to just go ahead and undies that so that's how I start my outfit so I would suggest that you guys start with your sneakers all right start with your sneakers and then build your outfit from there or you can go vice versa the opposite of it so if I have a new piece like if I have a new um, t-shirt or something uh, that I've been wanting to wear I don't know let's say a new uh, honor to gift t-shirt all right so what I'm gonna do is I if I'm thinking already that I want to wear that t-shirt I'm gonna build my outfit off of that t-shirt and then I'll go to the shoes and then I go to the pants last when it comes to the outfit you can get away with blue jeans, black jeans, or cargo pants. And that's really all you need, all right? And then I go with the fitted cap last. Usually if I don't have a fitted cap, that's okay. I just try to have a fresh haircut, all right? But if I don't have a fresh haircut, I'm going to wear a fitted cap. No matter what, I cannot wear no, I, I gotta have a fresh cut. All right, so my next tip is don't try too hard. Keep it simple, all right? This is the, the tip that I had that actually sparked this video. So with the 2002R, I made an example of the shoe having a lot going on, you know what I'm saying? Let's say you got a sneaker that's got a lot of colors in it, a multicolor sneaker. So in my opinion, the outfit comes out best if you don't try too hard and you keep it simple, all right? If you have the 2002R that's brown and aqua and purple, um, go ahead and just pick one color. Maybe base your top off of that one color that you wanna go with, you know what I mean? So for example, I did a aqua color t-shirt kept the pants kind of like a neutral uh, tan color and I just kept it like that man you don't have to go and try to find every single color in every single shoe right so basically to sum it all up matching with the accent color I do that a lot try something new all right next tip try something new for example if you never layer your clothing try layering your clothing all right me and my wife was just talking about this like that's something I do a lot especially in winter time that winter time it's the perfect time to learn how to master layering. And I'm not sitting here saying that I'm a master at it, but it's um it's fun too, because you can always get a graphic tee, you can go with a plain tee, and then find that perfect like flannel to go over it. Show you guys a quick example, like I wore the 2002s. Like with this outfit here, I did a gray shirt jacket, and I took a Carhartt hoodie that fits a little bit smaller than the over shirt, and that's how you layer. It's that simple. You gotta make sure the proportions are right. You gotta make sure the sizing is right on your items. And it's that simple, all right? So don't be scared to try something different. Step out of your comfort zone a little bit. Wear a color that you might not normally wear. You know what I mean? If you don't never wear yellow, you see a dope yellow shirt, go and buy the yellow shirt. All right, so for the next tip, this is something that I do. Well, I do all these things, but this is something I do religiously. Ask your significant, Damn, I can't talk. Ask your significant other, all right? Ask that person, he or she, what do you think? Just ask, like, hey, what you, you know, what, what do you think about this? Does this go, does this go better? Should I do these pants or that pant, those pants? And hopefully that person is honest with you because my wife would tell me like, no, nah, that ain't it. Or no, nah, that looks really, really good. Like we just had this conversation um, a few minutes ago before I recorded this video. Um, a, another good thing that, to add to this is Mix high end with low end. I'm not saying high end as in a um, designer. So what I'm saying is maybe mix a $10 t-shirt. Your pants might run you 
50, 60 dollars. I don't know, it depends what kind of pants you wear. Your sneakers going off rip. Your sneakers are gonna run you what? 200 bucks on average nowadays. All right, so your sneakers are gonna be fire. You might want that shoe to be the main attraction for the outfit, right? And then your hat probably run you like 45 to 55 dollars on average for a fitted cap. It doesn't. You don't have to always have on. You know the you got the new J's and you gotta have the the $200 t-shirt and you gotta have the $300 jeans. It doesn't have to be all high end. I mix stuff all the time, all right? So what I'm saying is shop pieces, all right? Shop pieces, don't shop outfits, man. You see something out there dope, you feel like you would like it, just go ahead and cop it. Don't worry about if you are gonna have something to match with it at home because I guarantee you sooner or later, that outfit will come together. The most important fashion tip all right, I ain't no fashion guru, but I know some stuff, all right? The most important thing is to be comfortable. If you are not comfortable, your outfit ain't gonna work, all right? Your outfit will not be successful if you aren't comfortable. If you know you're gonna be out all day and you, you might not wanna wear a specific shoe because it might hurt your feet, all right? So make sure you are you ready, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have the right shoes, the right fit for the right occasion. Make sure you're comfortable and also uh, comfortable with yourself. You know what I mean? So whatever you're wearing, make sure you feel confident in wearing that. Like you might have a certain shirt. You're like, oh, I'm not really feeling that today. It makes me look this, that, or the other. So don't wear it. Go with something else, man. Don't force it. You don't have to look like all the rappers in 2022. All right, just be yourself with it and be comfortable. And I promise you, you'll feel good, man. Like it's, it's always cool to be out and somebody's like, man, I like that shirt or something, or I like that shoe, and that shoe might not even be a hype shoe. It could be something very, very basic. Let me know if you guys like these types of videos, man, when it comes to the tip, how DB Kicks comes up with a successful outfit. So I appreciate you guys coming through, man, showing love to the channel. If you wanna check out some of my fashion content, some of my sneaker content, I got a little bit of everything. Nike SB, Air Jordan, Tata Style, whatever. I'm pretty sure you guys can find something that you'll like and make sure you guys smash that like button subscribe if you are new to the channel man we just passed 7900 subscribers we're 100 subscribers away from 8k all right and your boy db kicks is out